An Honor Flight program gave local veterans a free trip to see National War Monuments in Washington, D.C. And they also got the welcome home surprise many did not receive. 41 NBC's Brick Nelson went to D.C. with them and shares their experience. <laughs> When we say welcome home to each other, uh, when we see another veteran, we say thank you for your service. It means a whole lot because of the fact that we, we didn't get that. With the help of Middle Georgia Honor Flights, these heroes get the welcome home they deserve. It's just a great opportunity for them, for us to honor them um, for the sacrifices that they gave. Sponsored by Post 3 of the American Legion in Macon, the Middle Georgia Honor Flight has been serving veterans since 2018. That's the sole purpose is to get these veterans an opportunity to go to Washington, D.C. and see the monuments, their monuments, you know, whether it's uh, World War II or Vietnam or Korean War monuments. I had a chance to catch MGHF's 14th Honor Flight Hang the D.C., which consisted of a group of two Korean War veterans and 11 Vietnam War veterans. The day starts early at the Middle Georgia Regional Airport as veterans board the plane and get introduced to their guardians. Each guardian is an honor flight volunteer who accompanies a veteran during the trip. Ann Amy says being a guardian to these veterans is a chance to hear their stories while giving them someone to connect to along the way. Having a person paired with them knowing that they will be building a relationship with someone and if they're not doing that journey alone gives them the opportunity to share that experience with another person and gives them the comfort of knowing that someone is right by their side. Once the plane arrives at the BWI airport in Baltimore, local Honor Flight volunteers welcome them with cheers and thanks as they make their way towards Washington. We're greeted by the great citizens of Washington, D.C. that are just um, open arms and they're coming up to them and thanking them for their service. Once veterans make their way into Washington, D.C., they'll be able to experience all the national memorials and landmarks the city has to offer. From seeing the changing of the guard at Arlington National Cemetery to visiting military monuments, such as the National Marine Corps War Memorial and the World War II Memorial, all led by tour guide Laura Nelson Bullock, who's been volunteering with honor flight groups from all over the country for more than 13 years. She says it's her way of giving back to these veterans as they feel the burden lifted from seeing the monuments. We're not here to, to criticize or spit or anything else. We want to say welcome home. One of the most heartfelt experience for this group was at the Vietnam War Memorial. Each Vietnam veteran was given a special pin by active duty servicemen. It was also a time to remember and reflect. This is a great work here that has been done to commemorate the veterans here at Viet, you know, from Vietnam War and the one who sacrificed their life for it. So this is a great tribute to them. Although heavy rains during the day put a short pause on the trip, one 90-year-old Korean War veteran, Robert Shields, braved the elements to reflect and remember his service at the Korean War Memorial. Well, it was right on the, uh, the 38th parallel. We were the farthest OP north of the 38th parallel. Shields served in the U.S. Army with the 2nd Division of the 38th Field Artillery during the last years of the Korean War. You don't realize that there was that many lost to you see it. It's uh, really an honor after all these years. It was 70 years ago that I went in, and uh, so it, it means a lot. But the experience didn't stop there. On the flight back to Macon, veterans were surprised with mail call, which many veterans would have experienced during their time in the service. Letters from family members and gifts from people in the community were given to veterans on their way home. And when the flight landed back in middle Georgia, veterans were met with the biggest surprise they could have ever received. Vietnam War veteran Toledo Bradford says the welcome home message made him feel honored and appreciated because of his service and that of all who have served. I've uh, become very engrossed and uh, in, involved in supporting this mission because it's for us. It's for us. In Macon, Brick Nelson, 41 NBC News.
A beautiful job with that story there, the Honor Flight. Now, if you know a veteran who would like to take part in the next Middle Georgia Honor Flight or maybe interested in participating as a volunteer, look for this story tonight on our website, 41NBC.com.